right, today we are here to talk to you about Mepham still wines. Yes. Mepham are based in Kent on the North Downs. They've got 25 acres of vines. They have nine grape varieties mm -hmm. that they grow there and they love a blend. Yeah. So these are our first tastes of these wines. They've sent us through these samples. Yes. So we're quite excited to have a taste. We have tasted some of theirs before and we have stocked yep. their red and their rosé, I think we yes. stocked before, um, which were both beautiful. So today we've got two whites and a red. So yeah, talk so to the me. The first one is the White Hill. So this is Bacchus and Chardonnay. Mm -hmm. um, so this one is the kind of lighter, fruitier, sort of crisper wine. Um, so let's have a look. Oh, look how light it is. I feel like Bacchus and Chardonnay are like such different grape varieties. Yeah. The blend is going to be really interesting. Mm. It's nice and light. Definitely a Bacchus colour. Yeah. Oh, barely I can, there. I get Bacchus on the nose mm, too. Lots of elderflower. It's like green apple limey vibes. Yeah. I think I do get a hint of the Chardonnay. In there, I mean, it's not. I always really find it hard to describe Chardonnay um, flavors. It smells great. It's a little a tiny bit herbaceous. Yes, like you get the kind of back as the Sauvignon Blancy kind of vibe mm. from it. Um, but yeah, I'm not getting loads of Chardonnay. So I wonder what the blend is. Mm. Does it have any further information at no. the bottom? Mm, shame. Let's just taste and okay. see. 2020 vintage, so this is quite young. Mm. We definitely get a lot more Chardonnay on the palate. So it's got great acidity, as you would expect from these grapes. And lovely. It's crisp, it's clean. Mm, really dry. Really dry. It's got, it's got a pretty good length, but nothing crazy, as you would expect from this kind of beautiful crisp white mm. wine. Um, I feel like it's got really the best of both grapes there. Yeah. Like it's got the life and soul of the Bacchus, I mm. think. Like it's got a bit of pizzazz to it, but then it's got the depth and the. It's so just rounded off that Bacchus that's slightly. It, hasn't yes, it? that's it. That's it's exactly not like what Chardonnay is doing. Ooh, Bacchus, no, you exactly. know that. Exactly. That's what they mean, like the, the best of both yeah. really coming together. It's a lovely blend. It surprised, surprised me there, but um, yeah, I really, really like this. Really good. It's, I feel like it's a great I'm summer sure. wine, a great salad, fish. Mm. And, but because it's got such a great sort of acidity to it, I'm actually thinking this would be fantastic with like a creamy pasta mm. to really cut through that sort of... Yeah, fatty, creamy flavour. That would and be this ideal. would go really well with that. Really well with your lemon and cream. Yes, recipe. Nigella. <laughs> Nigella's recipe Gorgeous. for lemon. Oh no, I'm really, really happy with that. I like that. A really lot. love that. Mm. Um, so Mapham, they are Kent, though North Downs. They actually started in 1991. They are family run. They really focus on their great varieties and getting the sort of quality out of each bunch of grapes to then make into the into the wine. So they really start with the basics and work their way up to this, mm. which is lovely. It's and they're described as the boutique. Um, should I keep talking? Or? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're described as a boutique vineyard, so they're really small. Um, you know, they don't have hundreds of different grape varieties, um, just these nine and the Bacchus and the Chardonnay, anyway, are doing mm. really, really well, especially in 2020. Should we try the next one? Yeah, so this one, I mean, immediately you can see it's a different colour. Yeah, I'll put the next one and then you'll be able to see slightly yeah. better. It's like a more golden. Gold. Yeah, so this one is called the Oak Mead White. Um, so this is another blend, blend of Madeleine Angevine, or Mad Ange, as we like to call her, <laughs> um, and Reichensteiner. So, um, pretty well known grapes as English varieties mm. go. Um, oh, so it is a different colour. Mm. So we're expecting this to be a little sweeter than the last one, although I imagine it will be still be a dry white. Mm. Yeah, I do get oh, that hint yeah. of sweetness. Definitely smells sweeter, like peachy. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely got stone fruits like yeah. peach and apricot. Mmm. 
Wow, okay, yeah. This is a very different character. Um, it smell, yeah, it smells sweeter. It smells like a bit of a pud. All of them. Like a fruit salad. Like, that was so different to this. Yeah. I love that their wines have the different oh, personalities about variety. them. such variety. It's what you want from a range. And I can't stop smelling it. <laughs> I don't know what no, it is. No, it smells lovely. Yeah. Doesn't it? Okay, let's taste. Mm. Oh wow. And it's so different. It is a sweeter. It's got great length. It's still dry though. But it is still it's dry. Got, um, like a fruity, really fruity character to it. Yeah. And it reminds me, I think it's like um peach crumble or something. Mm. It's got mm. a desserty. I would say this one's more intense though. The White Hill overall's got more character to it than this one, in my opinion. Are you not, are you not feeling that? No, I think they're both very different. Yeah. Um, different ways. Beasts. Yeah, they're just... Like these two. Like these two <laughs> hairy hounds. Um, they're very different. They are. Both delicious. And actually, I don't mm. think we see much like the Oak no, Meat White. I think you're right. It's different to it is different. how a lot of other people make their wines. Um, which I love, I love that. Okay. Yeah, I love the difference. Um, yeah, mm. wonderful. Mm. Well, should we move on to the red? Sorry, you're still no, that's fine. <laughs> still taking it in. Um, okay, look at the color on that, by the way. So good, isn't that it? is a really deep, rich, ruby red. Yeah, but it's it actually it's got almost a touch of fizz to it. I feel like it's, saying it's quite pale. Yeah, it's Can not see through as eyes. yeah. <laughs> it's not as deep as something. Mm. Um, some other things that we have. Woo! Um, yeah, I know. That's intense, isn't it? So this is a blend Another of blend. Blend you, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. So you have to bear with my um, pronunciations of these. So it is four grape varieties. The Ocalon. Okay. Yeah. I'm not going to be correct to you. No. <laughs> the Regent, which is actually a very popular grape variety in its mm. own right um, as a single varietal. Um, the Triumph um, and the Leon Milot. Sure. I don't know. I, uh, my pronunciation of these things are awful. But again, this is 2020, so not particularly old for a red wine. Um, Might benefit from some age. Yeah, and we have had this open for a little bit. Yes, time we now. did. We opened it a few hours ago. Now. Yeah, <laughs> an hour or so ago. Yeah, but <laughs> ideal, uh, ideal accompaniment yeah, to cheese. It did let's go very well. <laughs> um, so already, I mean, I'm, I'm getting well, so it's much really on the nose, like even from here. Ah, it's got like a bit of a jammy mist to it, I think. Like yeah, blackcurrant jam yeah. vibe, which I love in a wine. Like cherries, like black cherries. I get violet. Yes, definitely. Like parma violet, bubble gummy, you know, that kind of sweet yeah. smell. Yes. Yeah. Yes, it smells like it might be quite light, but no surprises. It's another one that I feel like I could sniff all afternoon. Mm. Yeah, so it's quite light. Um, it's got quite a lot of flavours going on. I get some red cherry, some strawberries. I do get a little bit of like bubble gummy, violet, yeah. bubble violet flavours. Um, Ooh. It's yummy. It is really yummy. So, I know we've discussed what we would pair this oh, yeah, white hill with. So we need to say the oak meat and the union red. So we've already said this goes well with cheeses. Cheese, absolutely. Um, but I'm just now thinking, do you know I think this would go well with like a chicken roast dinner? Oh, I was thinking like a steak or like... Were right. you? Yeah. It's not quite spicy enough okay. for me for a steak. Perf like just personal yeah. flavours. Um, I like something... Chicken, I see. I see where you're going. Yeah. And what about the oak meat then? Ooh. <laughs> Do you know that's a tricky one? I need to revisit. Maybe pork. Yeah, yeah. Because of like the peachy apricot. Yeah, the fruitiness. Yeah, definitely. Uh, now I'm sniffing that 100%. Yeah. That would be lovely with pork. Yeah. There we go. 
something for everyone. Yeah, definitely, and for all occasions. Um, so the signature we used to get, oh, uh, well, we still get, but we haven't had it in for a little while, from Methos. Yes. I remember it being slightly deeper. Yes, I think you might be right. So that's fantastic now that they've got this wine, which is a slightly lighter, for people wine. that perhaps like a little bit of nicer wine, wine that. where I think the signature from my memory was a bit savoury, dry, mm -hmm. deeper. Mm -hmm. um, so what's your fave? Oh, that's so hard. But I think just because of how I'm feeling today, I mean, I really enjoyed all three. Me too. But just personal preference today, I think I'm going to go the White Hill. <gasps> Me too. Yeah. We rarely agree. The no. White Hill's a winner. Bacchus and Chardonnay, who knew? Yeah, they go really well together. Really well. They complement each other really well. Like, it just softens off that Bacchus, yeah. gives it a little bit of something else going on. Um, so, lot of three, our top tip is the White Hill. I think so. Then if you want something, a little bit of a lighter red, um, I think the Union Red is going to be really up your street if that's mm. what you like. It is very easy drinking, isn't it? Yeah. And then, if you want something different, mm. um, and as Sarah said, perfect for pork, then give the oak meat a go because I can't compare that to any other English white and I'm struggling to compare it to any other around the world yeah. white. I feel like that that's what they're doing really well, like creating yeah. something new, something unique. And that really is the beauty of the English wine scene today. Absolutely. And we are informed that they are going to go under a little bit of a rebrand soon. That's exciting. Um, so we shall see what happens to these labels. Yeah. Um, so yeah, enjoy guys. Have a try of all three, please. Cheers. Um, and cheers.